Hi friends, today I would like to explain about SSL certificates in Citrix environment. This, this is my DC domain controller and the host name is DC1. Here I created one DNS record, which is my storefront base URL, which is the common name. So I have created my A record, which is Citrix test site is my common name, which I want to add. So the related IP address is 29.99. And in the same server, I have created C authority services. And here, the console where we can create certificate. So request a certificate and advanced certificate request and submit a request using 64 coded. Now here we have to paste CSR file code. Now I have to generate that CSR file from my IAS server, which is my storefront one. So here I would like, I will go to the SF1 in uh, Internet Information Service Manager, IAS Manager and their server request, set server certificates and here create cer certificate request. So the key point here is common name. Here I have to give what website I want to give that name. So here in my case, Citrix test site. That is host name. I have to give on restart just for sake I have to give. Our nation is uh, Citrix. Citrix uses as my OU user. City is uh, Hyderabad and uh, TSC is my state and the country region is in India. <coughs> IN. So recently, not recently, almost a year back, Microsoft has disabled SHA 1 certificate. So we have to select SHA 2, which is Bitland is 2048. Say next. And path I have to provide on the desktop for CSR file output. So here, Citrix test site C, CSR, just for understanding the naming convention, this time CSR, open and finish. Now we can find that CSR file. So this file, I have to, I, this code I have to give in my CA request. So I'm copying to my CA server. SSL2 as my folder here I'm saving and when I'm open SSL2 this this code I will copy and I will paste it in my CE console here I have to select certificate template as web server and submit now I can download the certificate save as into SSL2 and here I have to give that Citrix test site CR because this file is CR CR extinction and you can find this CR right the same file now I have to import into my same IAS manager. Here, complete certificate request and I have to give this CR file and friendly name again, the host name, Citrix test site, which is my host name and okay. From here, I can export as PFX file. Again, dot pfx and I will give the same name Citrix test site pfx and open and I have to give password. This password is nothing but our key file in Netscaler. Just okay. Now we can find this pfx file, right? So now the two files I had to copy in my SSL2. Now I have to import the same file into my SF2 server. Import 
I need to last PFX. So I have to download the PFX. Let me download the complete folder. SSL2. Now I have to select PFX and give the same password here. Press OK. Now it will ready. Now I have to bind to the default website, which is my web storefront website at HTTPS. Select the site. And again, you have to give the same host name, Citrix test site, press OK. Now my HTTPS site is ready. Now I can browse, I can select in my storefront console. So here the key path is this way. I have a domain controller and here I have DNS, DHCP and certificate authority and to Create a CER certificate. I need a CSR file from my IAS server. So I have created CSR file in my storefront one IAS server. And that code I have provided in my CS, CS server. And from there, I can generate CER certificate. That same CER certificate I have imported in my IAS server and exported PFX file. The same PFX file I have generated, I have imported in my storefront too. Now my both IA servers have the same website, which is Citrix test site dot domain Citrix lab dot com as HTTP HTTPS. So both sites, both IA sites have this certificate. The key point is wherever you generated CSR file on the same server, you have to import CER certificate from your CA authority server. And from the same server, you can export PFX. If you import the CR file here in the other SF2, which is you are not generated CSR file, there you can't export PFX. I will show you that in front of you. Here is the file, right? So if you go to export, this is SF2, storefront 2, you can't find that option. If you go to export, here you can find the private key. Here you can find this PFX option, but whereas in SF2, you can't. That is a key point. Hope you understand. 